will look up in the sky and there'll be lightning in the sky. So you will ask your angels, oh angels, what is this lightning in the sky? So the angels will say, don't you know? No, I don't. What is it? It is your wives in Jannah that are smiling. And as they smile, it causes lightning in the sky. Alayhi salam. Authentic hadith in Mustad Imam Ahmed. Of the women in Jannah, when they smile, it causes lightning in the sky. Yes, salam. Ibn Qayyim also, rahimahullah, talks about the Hur al-Ain and the women of Jannah. He talks about the Hur al-Ain and he says, if the Hur al if the women of this world can be so beautiful made from clay, imagine the essence of the Hur al-Ain when their essence is saffron. They're made from saffron. They're not made from dirt. And if women can be beautiful made from dirt, Imagine the essence of the women when they're made from saffron. And Ibn Qayyim Rahimullah mentions how you can see the nerves in their legs because it is so amazing. He talks about their body, talks about their beauty, talks about their music, talks about them, them singing to their husbands, talks about how beautiful they are and how amazing they are and the fragrance that they have. He talks about the energy Allah will give you to sleep with your wives. He talks about how there is no sleep in Jannah at all. He talks about how there is no beard in Jannah. He talks about how women will have no hijab in Jannah. So hijab is only for you in this world. In the authentic narration, Aisha radiallahu anha had a group of women who was passing by who had beautified themselves excessively. And when she passed by in front of him, Aisha was covered up completely in black. She looked at them and said, enjoy it in this world, for it is for you in this world, for us in the hereafter. Allahu Akbar. Look at the conviction of a righteous woman. So for those sisters who are wary of them having to cover in this world, then preserve yourself in this dunya for you is beautiful existence in the hereafter. So when a husband has his wives from the Hurul Ain, Ibn Qayyim Rahimullah mentions the authentic hadith in, in Mustad Imam Ahmed that at that point, another woman will come. A woman will come whose beauty and her amazingness will make the king who is the man Forget the other girls. Who is this woman? This woman is the woman of this dunya, his wife in this world. So his wife in this world will be the princess of the Hurul Ain. And Ibn Qayyim says, does the king ever think about his servants when in the, in the presence of the princess? He doesn't. So his wives in this world will be given far more beauty. Then he explains why. He says the Hurul Ain never ever went through the difficulties the women of this world went through. They never ever struggled in the cause of Allah. They never had a slander against them because of wearing the hijab. They never went through the difficulty of, of being obedient to, to their husbands. So why should they not be more beautiful than the Hurul Amazing Allah.